everyone, I'm George Conley from Scratch Golf Tips. And if you follow the SGT Instagram, uh, you probably know how big a fan I am of Xander Schauffele, uh, one of my, my favorite players on tour right now. So today I thought I'd just make a video going through his swing and um, some things that he does before the swing that I think a lot of amateurs can implement in their swings for a lot more success on the course. So let's just take a look at this iron swing right here. Um, I like the extension that he has. His hands go really high. This is probably more of a knockdown shot, but he, his drive through the ball is also incredible. Um, I think he's got one of the best motions on tour. Really fluid, he's always had very good tempo. Um, he's not too fast on the backswing, and he's pretty explosive in, uh, in the transition. But um, just pause at the top, and then at the impact, how straight he is, that leg is totally vertical. His left arm, front arm is too, and that just leads for some great stuff throughout the swing. But there are some things he does before the swing, like what you're seeing on your screen now. He readjusts his grip, there's a zoom in. Before every swing, other than putting, he does this readjustment of the grip and then from there he goes right into the swing. Now what this does is it strengthens the grip and it closes it in because he plays much more of a draw. You can see on this swing how far that bar ball goes out to the right and then it's gonna come back in. Uh, you can also see it on his iron shots, like right here, this is a knockdown shot, but once again, there's that movement, he's bringing it in and then he brings the club back after that. So this helps close the club face a little bit and it just strengthens that grip. If you have a loose grip, the club head will flare out and then your ball will slice pretty heavily. But even on that knockdown shot, he still does it. So let's take a look in real time. This is Xander's uh, pre-shot routine. This is at the Farmer's Insurance. Um, so he does that move right there, looks behind the ball. He does this every single time. If you ever watch him on TV, look for these. He steps up to the ball and the first thing that he does is he, he gets his alignment. He, he adjusts himself, he looks down, and then he fiddles with his hands quite a bit. Um, you can see it right there. He doesn't. He hasn't even taken the full grip yet, and then he does it. He does one, two. He does a little backswing, half backswing, one, and then he does a couple more and goes right through the swing. So if we zoom in, he's just getting his his hands acquainted with the club. He's still working on alignment here. Then he steps up to the ball, puts both hands on. He has an overlap grip there. He does that little backswing, and then he comes back. He does it on every shot. One two, little hesitation, and then he does his third readjustment, and then he goes into the swing, which once again, one of my favorite swings on tour. So let's just look at this, um, look at this one more time. You can try this in your swing, that little overlap move. Just try it, see if, it, if it's natural. It actually helps a lot because it just makes the whole thing feel so much stronger, and if you, if you have that weak grip, this is such a good way to eliminate that and help it out. So, and also this move right here, I haven't touched on this. This little half back swing, Xander's been doing this for a while, and I actually implemented this in my swing. What this basically does is, he's he's gauging how his the, the club head face is going to go. So if he's playing a draw, he's gonna bring that a little bit um, in to out, and he doesn't play much of a fade, but that's what he does. And um, you can try those two things, that, that, that grip readjustment, and then um, that little waggle back. Justin Rose has a pretty similar move. Um, so those are just two things, and obviously the swing itself is very, it, there's a lot of teachable movements in it, but um, those are just a couple things that I noticed about Xander Shoffley's swing that I think could help a lot of you guys out. So next time you're at the range, you could um, absolutely try and, try and implement those. If you have any questions for me, I reply to all the comments on these videos, and uh, if you have any feedback, please, uh, feel free to reach out and uh, and send that down in the comments down below. Uh, subscribe to the SGT channel. We're posting about twice a week, and be sure to like the video. Appreciate it, guys. Uh, play well and take care.